Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to mold a Philco Tenkillus keyboard into a wireless version. To do, to do that, uh, we need some parts. First, this one is a customized PCB for a wireless keyboard. It is called Maze. Uh, 270. Th this board, this circuit board, was made by me, uh, named Gon, because some of my clients ordered me to make their uh, wired keyboard into wireless versions. So I, I then I had to make uh, make full wiring. I mean have to cut all the all the parents on the circuit board and I have to rewire the all the parents to make a new matrix uh, suitable for Logitech wireless controller but I, I actually I didn't want to do that so I designed a board to simplify the work so today I'm gonna show you how to modify your your tankless keyboard into a wireless version so first you have to take out this controller from Logitech K270 wireless version and I, I recommend you to use the controller from Korean version of a keyboard because uh, I think most of the matrix will be almost the same but well just one point or two if if just one or two points are different you will have difficulty when you assemble with this controller so I strongly recommend you to use the wireless controller from Korean version of K270. Uh, so, uh, if you take, uh, if you have have uh, taken out the controller, first step you have to do is scrub, uh, rub the uh, carbonized uh, contact points with a fine sandpaper so that you can take off the carbon coated. Uh, because if the carbon carbon is coated, you cannot solder uh, your wire onto it. The the solder will not uh, be be a stick on it. So uh, after that, add flux on the uh, copper copper pads. Then add some add before you. Uh, solder the wire you have to uh, you have to add, uh, add some flux then add some uh, solder and then onto the wire uh, jumper wire then uh, then solder make a solder joint okay I think I I've done it before you go to the next step uh, check the all the all the wires are soldered on the right place in right way to to do that to check the uh, to check it you would need a uh, some tool called uh, lupe yes uh, you may you may have seen this uh, when a watchmaker uh, working is work well a uh, watchmaker is working with their watch they uh, uses this so 
Let me check them. Okay. You're all placed on the right place. Uh, the uh, when you do this, you have to uh, solder the wire, join the wire in order. Uh, if you look closely at the uh, controller um, socket board, you can see there's a a small alphabet like P so this this right side there is the first pin so pin number one is here then two three four and two uh, 24 at the last and you you are uh, circuit board main circuit board has a has numbers on it starting uh, from the right one two three four five six so you just uh, have to wire uh, just just join the uh, point the first point to the first point here they are parallel so don't make a mistake and and then if you have wired if you have joined the 24 wires then you have to join the uh, indicators indicator caps lock indicator it has plus and minus and then uh, you have to join the uh, join the power source so I um, mean this, this controller will work with uh, a vo voltage more than higher than 2.5 so I I added a regular circuit board here this will regulate uh, the power source from lith lithium or lith polymer battery into 2.5 uh, voltages. This power source will come out uh, from here. So there is a mark for plus and minus. You have to connect the the power source to the back of the controller circuit board. There's also a mark. There are also marks. VCC plus and ground. VCC plus means plus and ground means minus. And this this two wire these two wires are uh, of uh, caps lock indicator. So this also has a polarity. So you have to you you should not make any mistake to. <coughs> to cross the uh, wrong connect not to make a wrong connection okay if you do that uh, uh, turn the switch to off before you connect the battery recharge your battery well okay then uh, before you solder the switches, uh, I recommend you to test your board with a uh, a lith polymer battery. If you connect this, this circuit board will work. If you uh, connect the joint, the two uh, points of a switch then the signal should be sent to the operating system uh, uh, of course you have to turn the switches on okay after you have tested this then you may uh, solder the switches uh, onto this circuit board 
so uh, ah, I, I, I forgot to explain one thing to you well the, these are uh, indicate what uh, these are the first one is caps lock indicator and the second one is uh, charging indicator you have to take these LEDs from your original uh, field call board you, you see I take them I took them uh, out of these places then I solder the LEDs to this these places okay then uh, place the uh, Okay. Um. Oh. Okay. Okay. If you you were a uh, stock keyboard is from Philco or. Uh, uh, quick fire rapid this circuit board will exactly fit okay there as you see they're exactly fit okay okay and then you have then you will have to solder the, all the switches on the circuit board and you have to solder this thin battery I, I use I included a lift polymer battery because lift polymer batteries are very thin uh, you would not have a, you know, space between your circuit board and the bottom of your uh, case so the the thin battery is needed. Okay. The re all the rest is to solder battery and uh, take this uh, into onto the the bottom of the case and finish it the rest of assembling. Okay. I know. The, this explanation is very rough, but if you are, uh, if you have some skill and some experience in assembling a keyboard or molding a keyboard, the, this uh, this explanation will uh, will be enough. And I hope this explanation is enough. Okay, if you have a for the question. Please leave your question on the on the BBS at Keycag or at uh, Keyboard Lab. Then I will uh, leave you. Uh, I will leave a answer or any comment to your question. Okay. Thank you. See you next time.